Hello everyone, it's Lynn again, and yes, I'm back with the day in my life. You might be wondering, Lynn, do you actually get up at 7 a.m.? No, I don't. I was just jet lagged from being in Las Vegas for a convention, and once I flew back to the East Coast, I still was jet lagged. But even though I woke up at 7 a.m., I didn't get up until half an hour later because I spent half an hour contemplating about getting up. Typical in things. After having an internal conflict on whether or not I wanted to be a productive human being that day, I got up and got dressed for the gym. Yep, you heard me right. The gym. In terms of my emotional and mental well-being, I'm doing pretty well. I, 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 gotta, I gotta pat myself on the back for that, but physically I am so weak. I cannot walk up a flight of stairs without losing my breath. And yeah, maybe that's because I haven't consistently exercised since middle school. But you know what? Life is hard and I decided today was the day that I started. Before I went to work out, I ate some breakfast, just quick oatmeal and banana, and I got to the gym. In the mornings, the gym in my apartment isn't very busy, but I still get a little shy. I'm doing my little warm-up stretches and then I'm gonna hit the treadmill because no, all the lifting stuff scares me okay i have no idea how to do those things this sped up clip of me jogging is so funny to me like it's i look so funny i hate to tell y'all i hate to break it to y'all but working out really does make you feel better and more energized I, it's true y'all you, you gotta start doing it <laughs> i was pretty sweaty and gross so i took a quick body shower i did not wash my hair and then i got ready for the day donned my nam juning jacket accessorized did my makeup and then it was time to start the work day for my second breakfast, I made a smoothie. And of course, Kayla just wants to be involved. She just wants to be included in my everyday tasks. And then we have the holy trifecta of water, smoothie, and coffee. And then I'm ready to dive into answering emails and figuring out today's workflow. everyone it is another beautiful day to get some shiz done since i work from home i try to set eight hour work days for myself and granted yes i do take a break every 45 minutes okay and i'm very fortunate that i was able to extend my current internship into the fall so i'll be doing that in youtube and content creation and also some illustration artsy stuff full time and it can be a lot to balance so i really wanted to showcase what it looks like to have a healthy productive day instead of focusing on perfection and harsh deadlines i'm working towards a work-life balance and i also want to give you some of the tips i have for time management organization and also i'll be doing a little notion setup tour i'm the type of person that can only do the extremes either i'm very very focused and invested in a project and I spend six hours straight on it or I have no energy at all. And a big part of adulting is you are your own boss. You have to proactively think ahead and plan your days. I have been such a loyal Notion user. I cannot tell you every single time someone asks me, Lynn, what is your planner, bullet journal setup look like? I'm like, it's all... It's all right here. Notion is the best planning, collaboration, organization tool for students, young adults, people who are working full time, doing internships. If you're a small business owner even, I highly recommend Notion. Notion was what got me through my sophomore in-person year of college. Like if my Notion was a mess, my life was a mess. You know what I mean? Notion is customizable. It's really easy to make it very aesthetically pleasing. And if you're part of a club like me, I'm part of our Vietnamese Student Association, it's great for group projects and team collaboration. My Notion is my work schedule. This is where I list my to-do tasks every day. My Notion has stayed pretty consistent over the years and it's Studio Ghibli, Woodland, Cottage Core theme. My homepage is very aptly named Let's Get Shiz Done. No history, no self. No history, no self. A quote I initially heard from my friend Tommy who I met this summer. Pretty self-explanatory. I think this guides a lot of my creative aspirations and also my work and advocacy aspirations. And of course, I got a lot of cute Studio Ghibli gifts. On the side, I have an embedded link of a YouTube video, specifically Studio Ghibli Lo-Fi Remix, so I can listen to when I need to get focused. In the very left column, I have my weekly to-do split into two sections. If I were attending school, it'd be three sections. So I have one for my internship and then one for work, AKA the YouTubes and social media. And below it, I got a really cute little My Neighbor Totoro gift. Look, they look so happy. Ideally, in another world, this is how Kayla and I would exist. I would just read books all day in a pretty meadow of flowers. I'd pick flowers and make flower crowns and bouquets for a living. But unfortunately, 
I gotta work. Kayla doesn't because she literally lives rent free in my house. I can cross off these two do's already. Below we have a calendar overview. I don't have any events in this calendar. It's just for me to at a glance see what day it is. And then finally to the very right we have my weekly events. It's the last week of my in-house internship and tonight we had to prep a dinner party for our quote-unquote last supper we're having with everyone. And at the very end I have a little brain dump. I kind of just write little things that come into my mind that are significant. I've been using this page a lot more lately. When I was moving into my loft, I religiously used Notion to keep track of everything I needed to buy, of things I needed to pack, and other logistics. Then I have my mm, productive planning out tabs, which is that nine to five grind. My very last page is my archive, where I put things that I don't need anymore, but I still want to keep a record of. My school semester tab from last spring is here, where I split up all my classes into their own little module. So yes, that is my Notion. That's how I keep my life together. Be sure to sign up for Notion. It's free in my description. And if you'd like a jumping off point, use my custom template to start your planning and organization today. To all my students and educators out there, Notion is 100% free. If you sign up with your school email address, you'll get all the personal pro plan features for free, no cost. And they also have discounts for other institutions. So be sure to check if you're eligible for that. Thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video and keeping me together. Appreciate y'all so much. And without further ado, let's get some stuff done, y'all. Guess what? Today, I went outside and touched grass. Yeah, as someone who works from home, I often hermit and then hold myself up in my apartment. But today, I was like, I'm gonna go outside, explore nature, go to a cafe, and romanticize my work life. Yeah. Something about overpaying for a six, seven dollar matcha latte really motivates you to do work. Because if you're buying yourself a latte, you gotta do something. You gotta make something out of it, right? <laughs> my biggest tip to anyone who wants to manage your time better is to take adequate breaks consistently so i work 45 to 50 minute little bursts and then i take 5 to 10 minute breaks i'll go on my phone play a little video game check instagram and then i'll return to doing whatever productive task i'm doing and this way it's a lot more sustainable and you're focused without getting burnt out and of course you gotta make time and eat lunch eating three meals in a day is so important especially if you're physically active and you're working long hours you have to nourish your body before you can expect to put anything out into the world. Take care of yourself first. Make sure you're getting your greens and your protein and your carbs. After getting most of my tasks done, we're going to do the bigger part of the work-life balance, which is the life part. I'm going to go grocery shopping, pick up some flowers and ingredients for my dinner party tonight. This is one of the last times I'm seeing the amazing folks I met this summer through my internship program. So I took some time to prep the house, make it all cleaned up and tidy, arrange some flowers. I truly think think that having fresh flowers is such a small moment of joy that brings so much life and brightness to a dining room table. Then I had some downtime, so I took Depop photos. Since I don't clock in and clock out of work, I try to use my free time if I'm feeling the energy and motivation to, and I don't need to take time to rest to finish off tasks for the next few days, so I don't have as heavy as a workload as the next day. Every time someone asks me, Lynn, how do you juggle it all? How do you make sure that your schedule and your calendar is all neatly tied up so you can balance social, work, dreams, aspirations? And to be honest, it really has to come for a love of people. In America, in the United States, I feel like we have this mentality that we live to work, which can be very toxic. And when our main motivator in life is to hit big in the stock market or to come out with the best-selling product, we kind of miss a lot of what is going on with what life has to offer. And this summer, I've been very gentle with myself, giving space for me and others to simply live and not worry about jumping through career hoops or making professional networks and connections. My main goal this summer was actually to make relationships that were transformational rather than transactional. And I hope in your work, whatever it may be, whether it's going back to school and studying to pursue your dream job, or starting your own business so you can support your family and community, that we center a love for people, including ourselves, first and foremost. So yeah, that's my cheesy dialogue for the end of the day. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'm so grateful for all the beautiful moments I've had this summer as some chapters come to an end other ones begin so i'll see y'all in the next video bye bye love y'all